I think I'm going to change directions. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I just want it to be known that uh, for Coulomb County to issue any court orders where they have been told from that person at that location that if I ever contact them, they're to arrest me. Yes. And they continue to send court notices to that location. <laughs> You've intentionally obstructed my rights as an American citizen, and you're getting sued for it. For the state of Washington, ooch, and all of those in the state legislature. Yeah. <laughs> I sent you emails. For the FBI, po. Oh. Now, for every individual that's received the actual documentation that my rights are being violated, that has a legal or professional obligation for the reporting of child abuse, <laughs> child exploitation, or child neglect, and they refuse to allow me to have phone calls when you issued court orders knowing that I would have gotten arrested for contacting Mike or Maryland. You intentionally issued court orders that are in direct violation of my rights as an American citizen. That's domestic violence. You're getting sued. United States of America. Now for the Supreme Court justices, which the executive branch, the United States Congress, pow, for all of those that are sworn oaths of office that I've been emailing and document, you're getting sued. Now, I want a phone call today and I know that I can stay where I'm at probably tonight, but I do not count on the kindness of persons as a reason why they would continue to be kind. I know that I have the right to victims resources. I have the right to sleep in a bed in a hotel. I have the right to reside with my sons and I have the right to speak to an adult American citizen about where she wants to stay. So you can decide to enforce the laws today because I'm documenting these lawsuits just like I have every day of the week for the last two years. You are allowing for domestic violence to be exposed to those that are under 18. Every IP address. <laughs> now, Facebook, yes. Somebody said that I was violating community guidelines again, and I actually uh, was looking through them. Yes. <laughs> you know, um, I know it's important for those of you that, that are uh, retirees. Yes. Bill Dixon, you retired from being the chief of police. Yeah. Ron Peregrine, you retired from being the undersheriff of Clown County. Yeah. Joe Hall, you retired from being the sheriff of Clown County. <laughs> Terry Gallagher, you retired from being the chief of police of Port Angeles? Yes. Did Mike ever mention that he would have me arrested? Do you know of the domestic violence of issuing court orders where I can't receive any communication from the court? Well, I know your retirements are important to you because they're important to me. <laughs> now, I'm just going to go and look at this Kiplinger's again. Oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, time is moving, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> now, this was really good. Look at this. <laughs> Fidelity's Boston headquarters. Uh huh. Fund managers Ramona Persaud and Joel <laughs> Tilling has confer about stocks. <laughs> now, why don't you get me every fund manager of every mutual fund in the United States of America? Mm -hmm. I know. They're sitting there. They're talking about stocks or they're standing there. Fooch, fidelity. Ooch. Ms. Johnson, are you still married to Mr. Johnson? <laughs> <laughs> Considering the size of Fidelity, Mrs. Johnson, or is it Ms. Johnson? Oh, because as I remember it about five years ago, uh -huh, the B on you decides what you think and what you say. Now, my suggestion to a very powerful billionaire family, yes, 
Why don't you employ people that are smart so that the bee on you will enable you to be smart <laughs> as a CEO or one of the family members of Fidelity Pooch? <laughs> now, I'm going to want to know, ooh, Ms. Johnson, <laughs> she looks somewhat like Marilyn, an attractive woman. <laughs> You remember five years ago, Mrs. Johnson? <laughs> now, as I remember it, the B uh -huh, on the individual is what decides the intelligence of the person. <laughs> if you have a B on you that happens to be stupid, yes, you'll be stupid. <laughs> now, I want to know every fund manager of all mutual funds, of all pensions, Yes, <laughs> of all tax sheltered annuities, TSAs, ooch, 457s, oh. <laughs> and uh, that government fund that uh, federal government employees seem to be so fond of. <laughs> Why don't you get me the actual fund managers that manage the assets <laughs> of approximately eight and a half trillion dollars of assets <laughs> that happen to be tax deferred retirements <laughs> of those known as American citizens? <laughs> We can't have any family members yes. managing the funds <laughs> of the tax deferred accounts of every individual in law enforcement. No, no, no. We can't have family members managing the funds. No. <laughs> Mrs. Johnson, it's Paul calling. <laughs> you remember your bald headed Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson, Mr. Johnson. <laughs>